Hey there, I'm Lisa Hart and welcome to The Juice. I'm here to give you the latest info on what's going on in the world of entertainment and celebrity news. EW.com just released their power rankings for American Idol contestants who recently received golden tickets for the season so far. Okay, so these kids have been on TV just once and they're already on a power list. I think I need to create my own power list. Hmm, I like that idea. Anyway, the Academy announced the Oscar nominations this morning. Ellen, Casey, Clooney, and Kate are all up for the little naked man of gold. Is he really naked? <laughs> anyway, battling it out for best picture are Atonement, Juno, Michael Clayton, No Country for Old Men, and There Will Be Blood. But no love for Norbit. I like Norbit. I thought it was a cute, funny movie. Oh well. Speaking of awards, packed with PDA, personal tributes, and pretty ladies, the SAG Awards were more about the red carpet performances than their on-screen performances this year, and everyone was looking mighty fine. Good thing they had some place to wear those beautiful dresses that they bought for the Golden Globes. And young Hollywood got even younger this weekend, as Christina Aguilera and Nicole Richie both gave birth just hours apart at the same hospital. Christina and Jordan plan to spoil their baby boy, while the Maddens plan to have their baby girl share clothes with mommy. Okay. And for something for all of you Star Wars fans out there, it was announced today that the Xbox 360 Star Wars game, The Force Unleashed, will be coming out in April. So put all of your little action figures back in their mint condition boxes. No judgment, really. That's it for The Juice. I'm Lisa Hart. Keep coming back for more to see what's really going on.